Hi, I'm Adam Kunzmiller with RPG Geek at Gen Con 2014, and I'm joined by Luke Crane with The Burning Wheel. We're here to talk about Torchbearer. So Luke, tell me about Torchbearer. So Torchbearer is, um, it's many things. It is an homage to basic D&D, which we love. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, is, it is a game in which we've, um, uh, we've taken all the things that most people throw out of D&D and we've made a really fun game about it, like encumbrance, light, food, all those things that, are, uh, that people tend to disregard in, in the face of killing goblins or you know, hauling mm -hmm. out treasure. We said, we really like those things. Let's... Um, so you like kind of that crunchy simulationist, like yeah, you have to take yeah, yeah. everything into account. But, well, we, so as we were developing this, we realized that we didn't want to make it too crunchy. We didn't, like, counting, you can get really crunchy in D&D, you can count coins for encumbrance, all that stuff. Right. We're like, can we do better than that? Can we make it kind of a fun game, like, a, mm -hmm. you know, with some really interesting decisions, and, and that's part of it. Uh, and Torchbearer is also, like, secretly advanced Mouse Guard and Dragons. It's okay. secretly, like, the, you know, Mouse Guard 3.0. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we took a lot of the stuff that we did uh, in Mouse Guard, built on it, refined it, and... Uh, and you know, we feel like we've kind of polished it uh, a lot. So yeah. Many and this levels. is adapted from the Burning Wheel system as well. Or? Well, it's, the pedigree is you know, Burning Wheel, Mouse Guard, uh, Torchbearer. Okay. Or even like Burning Wheel, Burning Empires, Mouse Guard, Torchbearer. If you want to get technical, but yeah. <laughs> and so here we have kind of the handbook, but we also have a player's deck and a, a DM screen. Kind of walk us through what we get here. Sure. So we're experimenting with this. Yeah. Pop those open. Check out. Uh, those fine cards. The player's deck is our, our way of, of acknowledging that players don't buy rule books. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we wanted to offer something for them that's nice to look at and makes the game a little easier to play. So it's, it's essentially, you know, just reference cards. Put them at the top of your character sheet. There's light, armor, weapons, conditions, actions, everything a player would need in order to uh, survive or not the dungeon. Um, so... Yeah, it's priced at about a third of the rule books. The idea that we're hoping is that the, the game master is buying the rule book, and, uh, the, and players the players are, are buying, are picking up the deck. Cards. It kind of works. We see a lot of game masters just come and be like, you know, ah, I'll just buy all the decks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far so good. Okay, and for people watching who aren't that familiar with Torchbearer, kind of how's the system work? How how do you you know how do tests work? How does the narrative? Oh driven? sure. Um, so Torchbearer is, it's a D6 die pool system. The number next to your stat or skill indicates how many dice you roll. Uh, you're trying to get successes, you know, a four plus is a success. Uh, so, the, you know, core mechanics very simple. Uh, and, you know, we kind of, we, you know, we build on that to create these fun, like the combat system is action based. You're playing action simultaneously as the other person. Uh, and the one of the things I th feel like differentiates Torchbearer uh, and mouse guard from from a lot of other RPGs uh, is the when you roll the dice. There's three things that can happen. Any anytime you roll the dice, there's a, a, a either you succeed, you get what you're after, uh, or if you fail, there's a twist or a condition. So you're in a twist. Um, basically, you know you're trying to to pick the lock or, or right. and get through the door. Uh, you know the twist is. You know, the guards open the door and are like, what are you doing? Yeah, right? and you're standing there holding your picks, looking up. Right, and so a twist is like a new obstacle that's presented to mm -hmm. you. Uh, a condition is, uh, is you know, you pick that lock, uh, but you're exhausted after. It was like an hour of work, you're sweating, uh, and so you get what you want, but you take a condition. Okay. Uh, and the conditions in the game are hungry, uh, angry, afraid, exhausted, injured, and sick. Uh, those are the, are the main ones. There's also fresh, which gives you a bonus when you're fresh, and, and you're, you get a bonus to everything you do. But uh, as soon as you take another condition, you get rid of fresh. Yeah, and I know like, conditions are cards in here as well, yeah. just for reference yeah. on how it affects things. And... Yep. Uh, so yeah, so we feel like that kind of twist or condition thing uh, adds a lot to the dungeoneering, uh, dungeon exploration side of Torchbearer, where you know it, you, you still feel like you're down there and you're you know you're kind of playing that classic game, but there's a lot of unexpected things that happen. But you know, especially though, so unexpected things like wandering monsters and, and mm. like we can you know bring those classic you know dungeon problems into play. Right. But the way that you know it's different is your character doesn't have those hit points. You're accruing these conditions, and so you really feel it as a player. You're like, oh, I'm angry and I'm exhausted. Like ah, <laughs> oh, you know, and you feel the, the the weight of the darkness and the yeah. you know the, the, the I stone. A, I think it's a lot easier to take role playing direction from saying that you're exhausted than from saying like you're down three hit points. Yeah. Or I, what have you, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love my hit points, and I certainly certainly have like been staring at like a character sheet with one hit point on it being, go, being going, oh god, but <laughs> I, I like 
the cues too. I like the the, the, the descriptive terms, and right. you know, we're just kind of experimenting with a new direction. Okay, and what's what's next in the Torchbearer universe? Well, our latest is the uh, Torchbearer Game Master screen. Uh, we it's new for the show, uh, and art by Russ Nicholson uh, for the cover and just useful tables. We wanted a low profile for it. Uh, really something to hide your map. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it's really easy to, you know, like it, we, we designed it so it'll fit a piece of, of paper there. Right. And, you know, so you can kind of set it off to the side and have, you know, even roll out right. in the open, uh, but have your hidden reference back here. You know, we, we thought probably too hard about this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the height was very like deliberate, like measuring. Well, and it's kind of nice how it's here. Like you can have it having one screen of paper without having to like block off half your table, right. for example. Right? If you're that style of GM, like it, you know, it's broad enough to do it. But like we tried yeah. to make it in such a way that you had some some options. All right. Well, great. That's uh, a lot of really cool stuff going on here. So once again, that was Torchbearer from the Burning Wheel.